Oh, what a shot by La Quintana. His seventh of the season from the edge of the box. Well, we have just had our transfers placed under an embargo because we are evidently appealing to several takeover groups. So, uh, yeah, it looks like we have had one official bid put in worth about $100 million. Just out of curiosity, we're valued at 174 Now, don't forget, we have that outstanding... What happened to all the rest of our loans? Did we pay those off? Because didn't we have the, that one for the director for like 6 or $8 million dollars? upon his departure all right well maybe not oh well that's why because he completed the hundred million dollar takeover so dale vince is out sam chandler is in so let's take a look at our club vision where do i find this rivalries by the way where am i at i'm only favored personnel what uh, so owner status loves the club all right so he is the president he, he is the sole owner now but i don't know where to go see if if he's a tycoon i've never really had this happen so let me know in the comments where to go find if this guy's a tycoon or anything uh let's take a quick look at the updates that was a pretty quick takeover though so he's put them on the stock market, which raised six and a quarter million. The directors have all left the club. Taylor Humphreys and Andy Tierney are the new directors. And we're an A minus. Okay. Transfer embargo is lifted. And they have raised the current transfer budget to $17 million, which I can't spend any of it right now. Thank you very much. Could have done this a month ago. <laughs> so, a takeover in our next to last season. Just a quick update. I thought you might be interested. We had six players called up for international duty. Uh, Sahin Berber, uh, one of our youth players, called up for Turkey's under-19 squad. Uh, Ids is called up to Germany's youth squad. Alistair Murphy to Scotland's youth squad. Rob Clark, our reserve keeper, up to Wales for their U21s. Daniel Nomov gets his call up to Bulgaria. That's going to give him another international appearance. And Aaron Collins to Wales should help him reach double digits in his international career. So that is awesome. Uh, Pavlovic left out of Serbia's plans. Well, you know, I mean, we just signed him. We can't be held accountable for that. Oh, four more players called up. Jackie Moore to Northern Ireland. Uh, Kamara, our new striker, to Guinea. O'Dane Henry to Jamaica uh, for their senior squad. And Craig Mitchell to Northern Ireland. Oh, just found out that Ignacio La Quintana was called up to Uruguay's national team to face Colombia and Bolivia. All right. Well, I did come back a game later than I had planned. Uh, let's see, we played Sheffield and Bournemouth. So we, we drew 2-2 with Aston Villa. Sessegnon with the equalizer, or the you know go-ahead goal. And uh, Gavin Hamilton with the equalizer late. Mads Bistrup, uh, the new midfielder that we just signed recently, uh, he got the first goal for us. Burnsley, we beat 3-0. Our two strikers, Hamilton and Ids, teamed up for all three. And another win. Then Tottenham, only beat us two to one. Ids with a goal. Scott Wharton was sent off in the 82nd minute with a second yellow card. Uh, Tottenham does take us out of the FA Cup in the fifth round. We were only supposed to make it to the fourth round, so everybody's happy there. Uh, back into the Premier League, a 2 1 win over Bristol City. Hamilton with another brace, and Mitchell was sent off in this one too with a second yellow card. And then uh, Everton. 3-2 uh, win over those guys. Uh, they did take a 2-0 lead, 
Flynn Downs got us on the board, Hamilton with an equalizer, and then uh, La Quintana with a stoppage time winner was very nice. Taking a look at the competition, we're up into seventh position. We're only four points behind Tottenham on even footing. That's crazy. Uh, certainly did not expect this. But what's more interesting is we're in Euro 2 qualification. We, we, we are currently qualifying, I believe, for Euro 2. Uh, Tottenham beat Man City, and that was in the Carabao Cup. Now, if they qualify for something higher, then I think that passes off and that would open up something else for somebody in seventh position. So we we might qualify for something in Europe. That would be amazing. Uh, <laughs> jumping into the squad, you can see our goal leaders, uh, 13 apiece for Hamilton and Ids. Collins down to uh, still with 11. Uh, taking a look at Hamilton, uh, his form. He's actually been doing really well as of late. Uh, three goals in, well, five goals in four matches. So he's hot. So he's going to be back in the starting lineup just as hot as he is. Uh, he had gone, you know, three three games without a goal, but then four goals in two games. So he's been on a run since January 5th. So I think we need to reward that. So we're going to be back for Liverpool. Uh, we are going to be in our cautious approach here, playing a better team. Ids and Hamilton up top. Marcus uh, Marcos Rogerio is back in, and he is fit. Uh, let's put Mitchell on that back line, and we're continuing to train him there. You can see he's picking up a little bit of ability. So uh, Pavlovic. And Bilotti in the middle, Fosu Mensa on the right, Nomov in goal, uh, Rosario back in. Laquintana on the right, Hamilton and Ids up top. I'm still kind of still kind of wondering what to do. Knezovic is not playing up to expectations, but he's by far the best midfielder that we've got. Let's give him the match. Nomov will take the captain's armband. We are in a good run of form, but this is Liverpool. And you recognize all the names in there. Oh, let me check. Yep, just wanted to make sure. Oh, good run in by Rogerio. And he pings it. But that was a good cut in by him to receive that ball. I certainly thought the Liverpool, sorry about that, Liverpool defender was going to intercept that. Oh, don't give Van, don't give Salah space. That was too easy. Alexander Isaac, his 13th of the season. Mo Salah with the assist. Let's get creative. We're already marking tight. Uh, you know what? Out of possession. Defensive width. Let's expand that a little bit. I don't know if that's going to cut us open or not. It might. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll collapse it back down if we need to. I've been on narrow all season. Get creative. I just, th those those wingers are just getting too much space, and I think that's what's causing us problems. Oh, there's a nice interception off the throw-in. Oh, great job. No, that wasn't good. No good. No bueno. Oh, nice. No, no. That would have been the second stupidest goal I've ever given up. <laughs> we all know what the most stupid one was. We saw that a while back. What a block. Flick on header. Find him outside. Oh, underlap. 
No, damn it. Oh, that's brilliant through ball and beats Nomov. All right, let's go back to narrow. Let's compress a little bit. Show some passion. I mean, it's not like we're playing bad. We've seen some good ball movement. Just, uh, let's see. Bilotti's on a yellow. Let's bring Corbo on. So we'll have our two new center backs paired up. And let's bring Bidstrup on. They are playing well. I mean, we are losing. It is what it is. I mean, we're not going to win. We're not going to win against these top six sides. No. Oh. Let's ask for creativity. Oh, no. Sala with a little step over, and Mitchell fouled him in the box. It's going to be a penalty. And yellow or red? Just a warning. No, he's going to get a card. Oh, my God, it was not a penalty. What a block there. Oh, my God. Who? who <laughs> Why are we going down? Stay on your feet. Maybe I need to tell him that. I'm pretty impressed with the tackles, but gee whiz. Demand more. Come on, boys. Oh, good block there. That goes wide. Tell you what, let's go here. Bidstrip's looking nervous. I've already made two subs. We've got a lot of yellows, but I don't think there's anything we can do right now. All right. La Quintana, he's on the right side. Tell you what, let's bring Hamilton back to the midfield. Put Collins in up top. And, yeah, I don't have that on, so we're fine. Oh, that was unlucky. I thought we were going to have a chance there. Solomon on a run. Oh, and there's going to be a sending off. Oh, second yellow card. Just chopped him down on the breakaway. Those guys are all playing out of position, but I'll tell you what, Hamilton, we're going to make him on attack. And let's make him a uh, Mazala. Just that way he drifts out a little bit, gives us a little bit of width. It's not going to help us any. But let's tighten up. Pretty sure there was a save there by Nomov. Good job staying focused and in the game. Oh, a couple of shots. He hit that one into his own man. And you know what? Let's slow the pace down. Let's hold shape. And let's condense. Just try to stop the bleeding. And that one gets cleared out. Good ball movement. Find him on the run. Oh, good cut inside by Mitchell. Plays it in. And Aaron Collins puts one in the net. His 12th of the season. And we score in the final minute of play. I'm happy with that. And you know what? 
2-1. I think you got to be happy. Burnley gets above us in the table. I'm still going to say excellent efforts. We're going to have a few issues for selection coming up. Bidstrup gets a one-game suspension, and we are fined for seven yellow cards. Wow. All right, we'll be back for Man City, but that will be in just a second for you. But it'll be uh, – I'll have to hit the button a lot of times. Uh, we've got about a two-week layoff international break, so we'll be right back. Just a quick update on finances as we've tripped over to April 1st. Uh, you can see our monthly expenditures, just under $8 million. Uh, income for the month, $34.6 million. And 1500 on shirt sales alone. And 4% from non-domestic. Got some of my American people buying shirts. Uh, $150,000 in merchandise income. And that puts us at just under uh, $39,000 to the good. What a change from when we were $47.5 million in the hole. What a swing. So we have really turned that around in, in the space of one season. We also had the restricted transfer window close yesterday, as you can see. Nothing happened uh, to, you know, we didn't make any moves. Uh, Stewart did go out, uh, as we expected, in February. Forgot to mention that finalized. That was, uh, we got, what, $1.7 million on that? So that was a little chunk. And the new owner restructured all the debt into one bank loan, and we're making monthly payments of $300,000, which I believe is $75,000 less than we were paying combined before. So... Uh, that is helpful. We need to maybe hire a new uh, cook for the team because we've had a lot of guys out with food poisoning. Not sure about that. Maybe that should be a staff position. One bit of interesting news. So after Farron Rawson left, Scott Wharton, who was a highly influential player, has stepped up to take the role of one of the three team leaders. So that's really good. There's your... Uh, locker room and leadership support and just taking a look only Vieira and that's because I he feels I broke a promise uh, to give him more playing time I started him in several games but whatever we've lost uh, reserve right back Daniel uh, Onyembe uh, for three weeks with uh, strained knee ligaments we've also had the uh, they call it the National Release Day. We call it our annual youth intake, where we uh, take all of the uh, young players in on uh, trial. So hopefully we will start bringing these guys in. All right. Um, yep, not going to be good enough. It's strange to think that we might be getting to a point that these players just aren't going to be good enough for us anymore. And they used to be some of our top youth prospects. He doesn't look horrible. He's got some potential. There's a guy that looks interesting. 18 years old, Irish striker. Maybe more of a winger, but he can cross. He's got pace. I like him. Let's go ahead and sign him. Again, this is how we build our... This is how I've decided to build my youth system because we don't particularly have a good youth system. We should be having our youth intake here soon too, I think. Tell you what, let's take a quick look at our U18 squad. Well, yeah. So we've got some grays in there. Lowry is 21 but he's playing down there so he doesn't count a yimbe all right so paul hill cleverly those are kind of the last remnants of some of our earlier youth uh intake ross sykes he's out on loan and he's making way too much money 
So tell you what, let's go ahead and transfer list him just to see if we can get anything for him. Taking a look at the U23s. All right, so we've got Robert Swabby, 19, Simon Forstmeyer, uh, Potsma, goalkeeper, all four star potential, Cotton, three and a half star, Oliver, three and a half star, Carroll. So there's, uh, there's some of the guys that, you know, we are trying to build and develop, you know, by these acquisitions that we've been doing. It's the only way we've had to get any youngsters of talent. This month, year, not so much. I think we we just offered two two deals. Three. We've offered three players deals out of the 11 or 12 that are typically released out. All right, we're at home. Serious underdogs. They're going with one up top. Uh, I don't believe I want Ids there. Lynn Downs is suspended. Lowry is injured. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and bring Vieira on. Bilotti, Pavlovich. McGinley, you can see, has fallen way down the pecking order. And he's up to a 696, so he's playing relatively well. Uh, still, let's put McGinley in for this one. Pavlovich will be on the bench. Uh, I am going to go with Wharton. Can I put Mitchell? Let's put Mitchell at the wing. Remember, he's better than Marcos Rosario at crossing. I am really really surprised with the team's performance this year. Oh, that was lucky. I thought that was going in. And that one goes right into, oh, Gerard is having to start because of the uh, food poisoning. Our starting keeper was not fit enough to play today we're hanging in there five shots four on target La Quintana oh my goodness a little ding dong ditch and Nathan McGinley rewards the start with his second goal of the season Knezovich with the assist looks like we had a couple of hits right one two three Oh, there you go. Everybody just hitting the dirt, trying to get a toe on the ball. Praise. They're uninterested. Wow. Could we have taken Man City off the boil already? I mean, they've got more shots. They just don't look like they're all that interested after we took an early lead. I think I'm going to go and hit that. Ooh. Uh, let's tell him to calm down. Well, it'd be great if we could steal the ball here. And now they break us down. They get across midfield. Oh, there's a. Oh. How many times do we see that? Oh, what a save by Gerard, the youngster, stepping up. All right, let's pop in tactically. Let's slow the pace down. We're already regrouping. Did I forget to put that other guy back on the bench? I think I did. You know what? I am going to bring on Pavlovich. We're going to drop him to a defensive mid on support let's give Kamara a run I really haven't given him a long run and that gets another yellow card off the off the pitch mm. praise all right Bilotti into the defensive mid 
Kenasevich. Oh, what a shot by La Quintana. His seventh of the season from the edge of the box. Wow. I saw him working the ball there. I was not expecting him to pull the trigger, and he just buried that shot. All right, let's ask him to tighten up. God, I would want to get a yellow card off here, but I need to pull him off, I think. All right, Murphy. The youngster, 19 years old. Confirm. Corner. Two us. Oh, I thought there might have been a penalty in the box there. Over the top, route one. Oh, good block. Good clearance. Oh, that was excellent defensive work, boys. Come on. Keeper comes out. Oh, Gerard. What a game he has had. He's made a few saves. Good job out to Murphy. No, damn it. And there's a shot. Beats him at the near post. Unas with his first goal of the season. I'm going to pull back into defensive. We're going to play for set pieces and time waste. Yep, two to one. McGinley. Oh, that was not a good play of that ball. Oh, they're putting the pressure on us now. Unas. Oh, what a layoff pass. They gave him the opening, and boy, I thought he was burying that one. All right, I was looking to see if I could make another sub. Just blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Oh, head it out. No, he's wide open. No! Dembele! 18th of the season. Oh, that's... Not happy. Oh, so not happy. I think that's the I think that's the coding. Oh, hold on. I think that's just the coding that sometimes like in real life with Man United, you know, where they get a you know, 6 minutes of stoppage time and then in like the 28th minute they get the uh the a penalty. Probably a draw was the best we could have hoped for here. And I'm very happy with that. <laughs> We're up to plus six on goal differential. Five points behind Tottenham. I mean, that was a hell of a game. I'm just not sure what else we could have done tactically. All right, we're in the Euro 2 race. All right, he's only going to miss one to two days. He has been a huge player for us this year. Huge player for us this year. 27 starts, 7 goals, 8 assists, playing a 7.22. That was a good $3 million I think we spent. I think that's that's got to be signing of the season, I would think. All right, guys. Well, if we take a look real quick, 7th position, and I think we're going to take Tottenham's spot as long as we can hold 7th. That Euro 2 drops down because they will be in Europa League. So that's what we need to hope for or catch them. That would be great. Um, but those are the teams we should definitely be losing to. And we have... 
I mean, we gave Liverpool all they wanted, and we gave Man City all they wanted. So keep it up. Keep it up. Hit the like button. Subscribe. And let your friends, if you have some friends that like Football Manager, hey, let them know about the channel. Uh, you know, I like growing grassroots. I don't ask for a lot. And uh, But, you know, just spread it as much, you know, however you see fit. You know, if you if you want to share it in any way, shape, or form, get the word out about the channel. My thanks go out to you in advance. Guys, thanks so much. We are having a hell of a season. We'll be back for Chelsea and Leicester. Last match of the season. By the way, Everton have clawed up to 21 points, but they're nine points behind West Brom with 18 points up for play. They're, they're having a real struggle this year. I think they're falling out of the premiere. We'll see you guys for the season finales next episode. Take care. Bye.